for me, whenever I hear country music, I always think about, um, I don't know, slide guitar, you know, or pedal steel guitar. So I was like, well, let's just add some of that just to see if we're going to uh, get the right feel for this. So what I'm going to do is I, I clicked on, on the uh, loops tab in Logic Pro, and um, I can do a search in the search field for pedal steel. And up will come all of the pedal steel loops that I have available to me to use in my project. All right? So I can pick one that I like. I think it might have been pedal steel 22. And all I have to do is simply drag this in uh, into my project. And then you can see down here, there is that loop. And now when I hit play, I have pedal steel inside of my project, like this. Right? Already it sounded way more country than it did, you know? <laughs> Just doing that. Yes? Can you uh, control the key? Well, that's what I was going to mention. So in these programs, like GarageBand and Logic and stuff, uh, you can set the key uh, that you're in. And so you can look up here, it shows me the, the time signature, the tempo, and the key that I'm in. And what's nice about these loops is the loops will fit to whatever my project is. If you look at this loop, the loop that I used over here, right? Look at the, uh, look at the settings on that loop. The tempo was 125, and it was the key of E. But as soon as I dragged that loop into my project, it matched it to 98 in the key of D. And that's the way these loops work, is they're very, very smart. You drag them into your project and they just fit. It's very, very cool. Yes? What kind of a copyright arrangements are available for loops? Uh, so the question is copyright on these loops. Uh, when you buy a program like this, you are entitled to use these loops in any way that you want. Any way that you want. If you're doing a commercial uh, product, you can use it. The only thing you can't do is resell the loops as loops. <laughs> you can't you can't take that loop and go sell it as, a, as your loop, right? That's what you can't do. And if you it, and I'll give you the perfect example. Um, uh, the, the 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 show on uh, what is it now? A and E? No, A and E. I don't know what it was. It was the makeover. They had a makeover show on that was on a while ago with Vern and uh, I don't know whatever it was and, and Ty. Where Ty? The the carpenter tie just the okay never mind anyway they had a show I was watching the show it's probably what extreme eight well he was that's his new show but it was before that when they used to build a house when, yeah no it was when they would redo people's houses oh yeah that's what I meant yes yeah. anyway whatever not important but anyway so I'm sitting home you know 11:30 eat my slice of pizza and I'm watching this show and I'm like man that music sounds really familiar where is that where is that from I don't so weird, and then whatever. The next day I woke up and I was like, that's where it's from. It was a pre-recorded loop in this program, Reason, that they, whoever did the music for that show that day was just like, all right, I don't care, whatever, I'm, I'm getting paid either way, I'm dragging this loop in, and there it went. And it went onto the air and he used it and made probably money off of it, you know, didn't have to worry about paying royalties on it. So you buy the, 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 the package, you have licensing to use these any way that you want. So if you mix it with something, you can sell mix that it with recording, something. you can save Now, that's recording. these loops. There are perfect tools out there. There's a free tool from Apple called the Apple Loop Utility, which you can download. It's free, and you can make your own loops. Now, if I take somebody else's song and I loop that, that's not... Gets, that, i got to pay copyright and pay permissions for that. But it, it's included in the program that then I can do. Yes? I am um, making a product where I have to resell some loops. Um, but what I'm going to do is just add a little verb or something like that. Then is it cool? Just stall out just a little bit. Well, uh, I don't know. If um, like I got some whoosh effects. And if I if I came and took your car out of your driveway and gave it a paint job, would that still? I don't know. I don't know if that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it would be like not four, stolen or not. I, don't, you know. like I mean, it is your car, but it's got new paint. I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway, that's the idea. But anyway, so kind of back to what we're doing here. The idea is if you don't play an instrument, you don't play the piano, there's plenty of these loops. And I've made just entire songs, and I have uh, you know, reggae artists who don't necessarily you know, play music a lot, but they are just in tune with what they want to do, and they just build entire tracks out of loops, and they sound great, yeah. Question. 